I'm going to do an overview of the PM727V by Precision Matthews and compare it to the PM728VT. So the reason that I have both of these machines is that I bought this one first and I realized that it's not strong enough for what I need it for. It has a one horsepower belt driven motor and while it's quiet and nice, it's not very strong. So I work as a welder and metal fabricator. I do mostly steel work and this, this motor stalled when I used a one inch annular cutter and also sometimes when I would use a half inch drill bit on steel. So I got the 727B, which has a 1.5 horsepower gear-driven motor and is plenty strong. It runs on 110, and it's pretty quiet for a gear-driven motor. So a few differences between these machines. They're both listed as having three inches of quill travel. And this machine comes in at just over three inches of travel, whereas the 728. Has just under three inches of travel. And the quill is a larger diameter on this machine, so it's more rigid. So it's a better quill overall. And this machine is more rigid overall. It's 470 pounds as compared to the 370 pound 728. The other thing I like better about the 727 is the location of the Z-axis handle. So on the 728, it's up high and it's hard on your shoulder if you're going to crank that. Whereas it's on the lower left-hand side of the column on this machine. Although on both of these machines, I have Priest Tools Power Lift, which is a real lifesaver. You just flip the switch and move the headstock up and down. I also like the find down feed on this, that you have a handle and you have a graduated dial. I use that a lot for milling. And there's no dial and no handle on this one. So all in all, I like this machine a lot better. It's much more suited for the work that I do. I use this 7 8 inch roughing end mill to notch this tubing and it was a piece of cake. So the 728 is a better made machine. It's made in Taiwan. 727 is made in China. And this has a much better paint job. It's got a nice texture to it. It's got better ground ways and table. And it has a dial on every hand wheel. The left hand wheel on the 727 table does not come with a dial. And this is the handle that I use primarily, so I'm going to have to get one for it. And it doesn't come with these collapsing handles. I got those from McMaster Car. But that helps a lot with the conserving table space. But all in all, this is a great machine. It works much better for me. So I made this comparison video because I couldn't find any good footage of the 727 on YouTube and that would have helped me make my decision. So hopefully this comparison helps for anybody who's looking between these two machines.